Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous video, we learnt all about the indefinite articles A and AN. You have learnt how to use them and how not to use them. In this video lesson, which is part 2 of articles, you are going to learn all about the definite article verb. You are watching the Spoken English video lessons by Arrow Publications and I am your Spoken English trainer Padmini. Let's get started. The definite article verb is used in certain situations. So let's learn all about the uses of this article verb. If you are able to master this, you will be able to speak very clearly and correctly. It may not have a communicative effect on your language, but it will, it's always nice when you use the right articles. The definite article the is used to indicate a particular person or thing. That means when you want something in particular and you're pointing to something in particular, the particular book you want. Suppose you want a book with the red cover or the brown cover. You say, I want the book with the brown cover. Or if you're talking about a person, you say, I want to meet the person with the blue coat or the man with the blue dress or the blue shirt is my father. So, the first use of the definite article the is to indicate a particular person or thing. Now, think of some sentences like this. Now, the next use of the definite article the is to refer to something again and again. The first time you talk about something, you can use the indefinite articles a and an. For example, I saw a rainbow in the sky. The rainbow was very beautiful. The first time you introduce the rainbow, you say, I saw a rainbow, a rainbow. And the second time, you say, the rainbow was very beautiful because you're talking about the same rainbow. So you're referring it to it again and again. I bought a dress. The dress is nice. You're referring to the dress, the particular dress that you bought. Once there lived a king. He lived in a palace. The king lived in a palace. You're talking about that particular king. And the next use of the definite article the. We use it for groups of countries like the USA, the UK and the UAE. But you don't use it for individual countries. You can also use the article the for historical monuments, the Taj Mahal, the Statue of Liberty, the Red Fort or whatever, whatever historical monument you're referring to. For mountain ranges and hills, for example, the Himalayas, the Alps, the Nilgiri Hills. So the, for hills and mountain ranges, we use the article the. For groups of islands, the Andaman, Nicobar Islands, the Caribbean Islands. But remember, we don't use it for a single mountain or for a single island. We don't use it. Only when you are referring to a group of islands or for some mountain ranges, we use the article the. We also use it for water bodies, for oceans, rivers, seas. We use the article the. Like, for instance, the Pacific Ocean, the Ganga, the Sahara Desert, we use it for deserts too. Now, for heavenly bodies like the sun, the moon, the earth, the world, the universe. So, for all these also we use the definite article the. For newspapers and holy books. Suppose you want to talk about the newspaper you read every day. You say, I read the Hindu. I read the uh, 
Times of India or whatever. But add the article verb. And when you're talking about holy books, you say the Bible, the Gita, the Quran. And when you're talking about designations, he is the chief minister of our state. He is the prime minister of India. He is the president of India, the manager, the director of the company, the vice president of the company, the queen. So when you're talking about a particular designation of a person, you use the article the. For people of a nation, you can say the French. The French means the people of France. The English, the people of England and with directions. The East, the West, the North, the South. We also use the article the with superlative adjectives. Now adjectives you know have three forms. The positive degree, the comparative degree and the superlative degree. When you are talking about the quality of one person, we don't use the article the. We say he's tall. And when you're talking about two people, you compare and say she is taller than him. But when you're talking about the tallest person in a group, you say he is the tallest person in our class. The tallest. This is the superlative degree. So tall, taller, tallest. Big, bigger, biggest. Good, better, best. The third form is called the superlative degree of the adjective. And we use the article the before it. We say the best, the tallest, the highest, the most difficult or the most beautiful. And the next use of the article the with ordinal numbers. The first, the second and you can say the third, the fourth and so on. So on. You can also use the last, the least. Then with the position, the topper, she's the topper of the class. With musical instruments, the guitar, the violin, the keyboard. I play the guitar. She plays the keyboard. The. Then you can also use it with departments and services like the electricity department. The irrigation department, for example, the army, the police department. So for all this, you use the article, the. And the next use is to talk about things in general. The heart. The heart is the main part of the circulatory system, the heart. The heart is an important organ of our body. The rose is a beautiful flower because you are talking about all the roses in general. The elephant is the biggest land animal. So you are talking about all the elephants in general, the elephant. When you talk about a system, the radio, the television, so you are talking about a system. When you refer to a group of people, you use the article the, the definite article the, the rich. The rich means all the rich people, the poor, the poor people, the elderly, the needy. So all these refer to a group of people. Though you are using an adjective rich, poor and elderly or needy, you are referring actually to the people. You are not adding the word people, you are saying the rich. The rich means the rich people, the poor means the poor people. Now we also use the definite article the with countries with plural nouns in their names. For example, the Netherlands, the Philippines, you have S at the end. So we use the article the with family surnames. When you are referring to a family in general, the Obamas, the Vermas, the Sharmas, the Rao's. Okay, so here we are referring to the entire family. And now coming to a very, very important aspect. We do not use the article the in some situations. Just we, as we have understood how we use the article the, we ought to know how we must not use them. 
how we must not use the article the unnecessarily in the wrong places. We must not use the definite article the with names of sports. Just say I like cricket. Don't say I like the cricket. I like cricket. I like football. I play chess and so on. Academic subjects. I like English. I do math. I learn science. Don't say I learn the science or I like the English. The next one is with languages. I speak Hindi. Don't say I speak the Hindi. Before languages, we don't use the definite article the. Names of people. She is my friend, Rani. You don't say she's the Rani or she's the Wani or she's the Ravi. So you don't use the article the with names. Names of countries or cities or states. You don't say I live in the India. I live in India is right. Only for groups of countries we use the article the. Names of festivals. We celebrate Diwali. We celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Eid. But don't say we celebrate the Diwali. It doesn't come. So if we, we don't use the article the. Names of meals. I eat breakfast. I eat lunch. I eat dinner. But don't say I eat the breakfast. Companies, hotels and universities. We don't use the article the. With mountain peaks. For example, we don't say the Everest. We don't say Mount Everest. The Mount Everest is wrong because Mount Everest is not a mountain. It's the name of a peak. So you say Mount Everest is the highest peak, but you don't say the Mount Everest. And the next one for single mountain or island, island, we don't use the article the. For names of streets, the days of the week, we don't say the Monday, the Tuesday. The places we visit regularly, this is very important. We sometimes go to a place very regularly. Some people go to church every Sunday. Some people go to temple every Saturday. Muslims pray in a mosque every Friday. You shouldn't say, I go to the temple. I go to the church. I go to church. I go to temple every Sunday or whatever. I go to market. I go to school. I go to college. These are all regular places of visit. And the next one is uncountable nouns. I want to buy the gold. Don't say the gold. I want to drink the coffee. No. And things in general don't use the article the. And of course, for all plural nouns, do not use the article the. I'm sure you understand now the use of the definite article the. And you are now ready for a small exercise. You are going to correct the errors in the use of the definite article the in this exercise. Let's get started. I go to school by the bus. What's wrong? We don't say the bus. We say I go to school by bus because we don't use the article the before a vehicle. I go to the church every Sunday. We don't say I go to the church because it's a regular place. I go to church. Chairs are made of the wood. No, we don't use for material nouns. Chairs are made of wood. He lives in the India. He lives in India. The next, she's sick. She's in the hospital. When somebody is admitted in hospital, we say she is in hospital. We don't say she's in the hospital because she's not visiting the hospital. She's actually in the hospital. The maths is my favorite subject. We don't say the maths. We say maths. Madan plays the cricket. Madan plays cricket. The next one, I like the Diwali. I like Diwali. The Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. You don't say the Mount Everest. You say Mount Everest. The next one, the man is in the prison for murder. The man is in prison. 
In prison means in jail. We have the breakfast at 8 a.m. No, the breakfast. We say we have breakfast at 8 a.m. I watch news on the TV. I watch the news on TV. On TV. But it is on the radio. For radio we use on the radio. But for TV we don't use the article the. I speak English. This is correct. I am at the home. No, we don't say that. We say I am at home. I, and next, the last one, good night. I am going to the bed. You say I am going to bed. You don't say I am going to the bed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on the definite article the. And you have learnt how to use, where to use and where not to use the article the. So keep practicing, keep watching our videos. Like, share and subscribe to our videos. We shall be back with many more interesting videos on grammar. This is just the beginning of the grammar series. And we shall be back with many other important concepts in grammar which will be very useful in your day-to-day -day communication. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.